Weekday dinners shouldn't be a hassle. They should be quick and simple and easy to throw together. And this recipe, it's a classic and it ticks all the boxes. Let's make some mini cottage pies on the One Pot Chef. First things first, we're just going to make some mashed potatoes. So I've washed, peeled, chopped and boiled some potatoes until they're nice and tender. To that I'm adding in a little bit of butter, a couple of tablespoons of milk and season with some salt and pepper. And give that all a good mash. That looks good. We'll just set that aside while we work on our meat mixture. For our meat mixture, we'll start off with some veggies in a large fry pan. I've got a little bit of oil and over a medium to high heat, we're gonna add in one brown onion, two crushed cloves of garlic, two carrots, and two zucchini or courgettes. And we'll just cook these stirring for a couple of minutes until the vegetables start to soften. Next, we're adding in our meat. I'm using about 500 grams or about a pound of beef mince. Now, I'm using a fairly lean beef today because I don't want too much sort of fat and grease on this one. And using a wooden spoon, we're just going to break the meat up and allow it to brown. Next, I'm adding in two tablespoons of tomato paste or concentrated tomato puree, a generous splash of Worcestershire sauce, half a cup of water, and season with some salt and pepper. Give that a good mix together. Then simply allow the mixture to simmer for about five to 10 minutes or until it's thickened up slightly. If you're just doing this as one big cottage pie, you can just put all the meat mixture into a large oven dish. Otherwise, I'm doing these as individual portions. So they're going into little ramekins. So I've divided the meat mixture between six ramekins and we're just gonna to top each one with the mashed potato mixture. Just use a fork to score some marks across the top of the mashed potato. What this does is it helps to create a nice, crispy, crunchy topping on each one. And these are ready to go into the oven. Preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes or until they're nice and golden on top. And here we have one of our completed mini cottage pies looking absolutely golden and crunchy on the top. We've got a lovely, soft, fluffy layer of mashed potato underneath that. And of course that beautiful, rich beef and vegetable mixture served with a side salad. This is a fabulous weekday dinner and it's so simple to prepare. Mmm, that looks gorgeous. I can't wait to dive in. This is gonna be really hot, so I hope I don't burn myself too much. <laughs> right. Mm. <laughs> oh, it is hot. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's <that's> beautiful. <laughs> The mashed potato is gorgeous and that meat mixture with the veggies in it, it's just beautiful. It has such wonderful flavour to it and as I said, this really doesn't take a whole lot of effort. This takes a few minutes to throw together really, shove it into the oven and it's ready to go. The whole family will love it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and until next time, see you later. People often ask me, what's the difference between shepherd's pie and cottage pie? It's very simple. Shepherd's pie is usually made with lamb and doesn't usually have the veggies in it. Cottage pie is made with beef and has the veggies. It's as simple as that. Although admittedly, when I make shepherd's pie, I often use beef instead of lamb. I find it's cheaper and I actually like the flavour better. But then again, I've never been much of a traditionalist. 